Rancher and Bigfoot Show. All right now. Well, folks, welcome back to another edition of the Noisy Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot Show. We want to thank you for joining us today. We're out here. Um, remote location, I'll say that for right now. May reveal it a little bit later into the show, but we're in a remote location right now. Um, we do know that according to people that frequent this area a lot, that there have been Bigfoot sightings and um, Bigfoot howls uh, recently. Um, so we thought we would take this opportunity to come out today to check it out and see what we could find. We're always uh, on the lookout. We always want to be the the one to uh, maybe show you the, the, the first evidence of that Bigfoots could be in this area. Uh, so we're really excited to be here. I want to thank our sponsors, um, DG Gifts, www.dggifts. Got the cool red shirt on today. I want to thank our uh, music man, Jeremy Arno, uh, www.jeremyarno.com, where there are no excuses. I want to thank the folks at Echo Bike and Board in Pendleton, Oregon. And also, we want to thank the Perrys for the GoPro. Once again, folks, thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoy today's show. Well, folks, as we've come to this spot and uh, as we've traveled up this way, um, we've seen lots of signs of um, other animals being in the area, deer, elk. Uh, we know there's a lake not too far from here. Um, we've seen um, birds. Um, so we know that um, this could be the habitat where a Bigfoot would live for sure, um, you know, because all the other uh, signs that we see, all the other animals that we see. Um, you know, we've we've talked to some local people from this area, uh, some local tribal members, and and they um, have told us about their experiences with Bigfoots in this area. So, again, um, up to this point, we we haven't seen anything that would say that there are Bigfoots are in this area, except for um, word of mouth and what is the habitat of this area. But we're going to continue to search and look and see what we can find um, in this area. It's a beautiful day here, um, not too hot, not too cold, a little overcast. Um, 
So uh, we're going to continue our search and uh, see what we can find. Um, hope you're enjoying today's show, folks. It's uh, really great to be with you. Well, folks, as we stand here um, at the 
top of this crest and look around, I can imagine a Bigfoot standing right here, surveying the land, looking over. basking in this glory right here. You see a long ways away from here. It's beautiful here. So I can say that there's a 100% chance that this quite possibly could be a place where Bigfoots could be found. As you look around, everything points to habitat of being where Bigfoots would be. The tree cover, the other animals, the elk deer, not far from a lake. Uh, a lot of a lot of vegetation around here so we believe that this quite possibly could be a place where bigfoot are found we're going to continue on our journey though and see if we can see any other signs and um, hope you're enjoying today's show Well, folks, we want to thank you for joining us on today's show. Um, again, we firmly believe that this could quite possibly be a place where Bigfoots are found. Talking to some of the local folks that frequent this area, uh, they believe that they have seen Bigfoot, Bigfoots in this area. Uh, they believe they've heard howls. They believe that they've heard them come up to their tents. Um, so with that evidence and what we've seen today, um, we firmly can confirm that this quite possibly could be a place where Bigfoots are found. And so when you're in this area, um, be respectful of the Bigfoots. Um, don't leave your trash laying around, you know. I personally don't think Bigfoots are out to harm us. They may not like us in their area, but they're not out to harm us, so let's not harm them. Once again, we want to thank our sponsors, um, DG Gifts, www.dggifts, Pendleton, Oregon. Um, we also want to thank our man Jeremy Arno, uh, where there are no excuses, um, www.jeremyarno.com. Jeremy is a life coach, motivational speaker, and so uh, I would highly recommend him um, if you're looking for somebody to take your business to the next level. Um, as he likes to say, if you want to go vertical, he's the guy that can take you vertical. I also want to thank Echo Bike and Board and Bob and Ryan Perry for the GoPro. It's been an awesome show today. It's been awesome being with you. Um, we hope you can get out and enjoy the great outdoors, folks. All right, have a great day.